your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, come and say carry on. Wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, come your number one. I'm ready for the competition. Yeah. You don't make intimidation. Yeah. Hey, hey. Come on, I'm on. Come on, we have no one. Hey. This is how we play the game. All right, let's start off this edition of the Sportsmax Zone with cricket. The Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League may be over, but there's still so much to discuss, which we will try to cover in this segment. Well, today, we name our team of the tournament and have a discussion on those who made the cut and just missed out on a spot. In the meantime, you can put yours together thinking of individual awardees like MVP Noor Ahmad and highest run scorer Nicholas Puran, just to name a few players. So let's get right into it by looking at my team first. So what did I put together? So I have Johnson Charles and Quinton de Kock opening the batting. Nicholas Puran comes in in third position to bat and give me a century. He's also the wicket keeper. Faf Duplacy bats at number four. He's my captain. Then I have the all-rounder Andrew Russell. You cannot have a team of the tournament without a Ruston Chase. I continue to think his stop, stocks keep rising, so I went with him. Sunil Narayan for me was um, a pick that I had to battle with, but I will not be happy if I don't have Sunil Narayan in my team. So he makes the cut for me. Akil Hussain, very, very economical. He gets into my team. And what about Gurukesh Moti? He had to also um, line up for me. Alzari Joseph. Karishma said I needed a fast bowler. So I had to go with Alzari Joseph. Noor Ahmad, he's been brilliant this season. You'll be silly not to include him in your team. And Imran Tahir, for me, that was a hard one as well. But I feel like experience goes a long way. And Imran Tahir, he brings that for me. Let's take a look at what Lance cooked up here. He has Quinton de Kock. He has Johnson Charles. Nicholas Puran. Faf Duplacy is his captain, just like me. David Visa. Romario Shepard. Jamar Springer. Imran Tahir. He has also Alzari Joseph, Noor Ahmad, and Mahesh Tikshana. Yeah. Okay, let's see the producers first, Lance, yeah. and then you'll defend yourself. Quentin de Kock, Johnson Charles, Nicholas Puran, Faf Duplacy as their captain. I noticed a common thread. Shea Hope gets into the producer squad. What about Shimron Hetmeyer? He also makes their team. Roston Chase, as I said. You, you can't pick a team without Roston Chase. Dwayne Pretorius. Alzari Joseph, Noor Ahmad, and Mahesh Tikshana. So, Lance, mm. um, there are a couple of names that I have some questions about. Can I see Lance's team again one more time? I just have a couple of questions and then you can tell okay. me. Okay, yeah. Lance's team, please. So, you have in this team, and I have two questions. One, Romaro Shepard, because I know how good he is, but he didn't have the tournament that I expected him to have. And I also want you to tell me about why you went with Shamar Springer. All right, well, quickly, Shamar Springer has the best um, strike rate as a bowler in the tournament of all the top top bowlers. And uh, I think he can bat better than he may have shown in, in the tournament, but very steady, quick bowler and, 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 and good variation as well. Uh, Romario Shepard didn't play all of the games because of an injury issue, but the games he played, he played well. And um, he's um, a match winner with both bat and ball. So All right. I, I was very comfortable with those two selections. I must say it was a little difficult not putting Hetmar and Hope in my 11, but I had other players that were irresist irresistible. All right. Well, we have to bring our cricket analysts into the discussion. It'll be no discussion without Nikhil Utam Chandani. Can I please see his team before I talk to him? Because I want to see what he's <laughs> thinking. <laughs> What did he have? Come on! I'm well, he, excited. First of all, he has Nicholas Puran as his captain. He didn't captain any of the teams, but he has captaincy experience. And uh, I know that Nikhil has seen a lot of him, so he'll justify, first of all, Nicky P as your captain, Nikhil. All right. Let yeah, me I think 
Sorry, you go. Y'all decide. You want to go through the team first, and then let me defend my selections, or what do you want to do? Yeah, my producer would like if I just go through quickly, and then sure, we'll sure. proceed. All right. Johnson, Charles, Quinton, Nicole, Cal, Mayors, mm, Shea Hope, Nicholas Puran as that captain, Shimran Hetmeyer, David Visa, Gudikesh Moti, Noor Ahmed, Mahesh, Shatik, Shana, and Elzari Joseph. So Nikhil, the floor is yours now. Defend your captain. Yeah, I'll start with Puran. I just thought, um, obviously, I didn't pick any of the uh, six captains in the tournament, and I just went for the guy with the most experience and someone who I hope to be seeing leading TKR, if not next year and in a few years to come. I thought about Hatmaya as well for a similar reason, but I wasn't too focused on my captain. I must say, I am shocked looking at, at y'all's teams. Where is Gurukesh Moti? Uh, 17 wickets this season, his team got to the final. Mariah Ramrat does not have Mahesh Tikshana, the leading wicket taker in the power play this season. And yeah, I'm very surprised not to see a Sherman Hetmeyer in yours, Lance. But this is the team I opted for. I think uh, it was good to see David Visa in Lance's side as well. I thought he would have been one that I would have been the only one to have. I just thought his all-round brilliance this year was a major reason why the Kings won the tournament. Average over 40 with bat in hand. Both so many critical overs for them at the back end in his 13 wickets. And also took six catches. For me, the importance of the catches he took merited a place in that in that side and I think it's, it's amazing to see that we've all got some differing opinions. Well Nikhil, first of all, you're a man who comes on this show time after time and I wish Ricardo was here and talk about Rust and Chase. So, um, <laughs> what's happening? Yeah, I wanted to have Rustin. Um, it was a, t a toss up between Rustin, Chase, Shea Hope and Kyron Pollard in that top order. I, I leaned with Shea Hope because I thought the importance of the 250s he got back in of the tournament was why Guyana got to the final, the 56 against the Royals in a must-win game in that second qualifier. And also the 56 against St. Lucia, where obviously the champions of the tournament, but I thought it was such an important innings in that team getting the number one seed, which obviously gives you the two bites at the cherry. So I, I said it with Shea Hope, I thought he came on at the back end. And Roston Chase, again, a scintillating performance in the final, probably will reflect on this season with the, the three 30-plus scores and probably think he could have been a bit better with bat in hand, but always a very good option in every 11 because of his all own ability. So I have no problems with that selection at all. And he could have easily made mine. Yeah, Nikhil, you know, when I was doing this exercise this morning, right, I started on my own and I was coming up with a team and then I got stuck. And then I was thinking to myself, I would be um, not a good cricket selector because I have all these names on paper. I'm trying to squeeze one player in. Sends the t I send the team to Karishma and she says to me, the te your, your team will laugh at you when they see this because you don't have a fast bowler. And then I have to delete another player, put in Alzari Joseph. You had Kyle Mayers in your squad and that has me thinking um what were you thinking well i'm thinking Mariah. i think his all own ability this year we, we actually saw the full potential of kyle Mears when he can give you two or three overs every single power play took some really important wickets and i thought bowled at the hardest place in the cpl which was warner park and did very well got quinton the caught a couple of times showing his skill and then the batting for me the 90s uh, even outside of warner park i just really enjoyed the all-round showing he put put down this season and i think when the tournament uh, team of the tournament comes out, I think he's got a very good chance to make it. So that's why I cited there. What I would like to know is, where is Gurukesh Moti in either of your sides? Please defend yourselves. I, honestly, Nikhil, I was told that I had too many of the same type of bowlers. So I had to delete Gurukesh Moti to bring in a bowler, a fast bowler. Lance, what, Lance, what do you say? But, uh, I, I know that Gurukesh Moti's numbers look, look strong, but I, 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 I'm comfortable with the spinners I had because uh, Tikshana... Ahmed is a, is a no-brainer for sure. Mm. And because of the aggression of uh, Imran Tahir and as a team leader for the Guyana Amazon Warriors, I just gave him the edge there. But I, I have no difficulty with Moti, mm. Mo, Moti being in. But I thought the spinners I had were strong enough to, you know, to, to, to merit their spots in a, in a tournament, in a, a tournament 11. But I take your point that Moti's Moti yeah, and, and are that very strong. I think the reason I, 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 for me, he was a must in my side. The games that Guyana lost this year, every single game they lost, he didn't take a wicket in. And every mm. single time he took a wicket this season, they won the game. So I just felt he was the most important key to that team and oppositions knew that. And Selusha took him out of the game in both playoff matches and beat Guyana. So that's for me, just his importance in that side and the ability to bowl in all three mm. phases yeah. is why I included him. Yeah, and earlier I took your point about David Visa. I couldn't pick a team without David Visa. As you mentioned correctly, uh, Nikhil, his, his 
multidimensional role in, in the team. But balls in the field, he took some of the most spectacular catches in the entire tournament. So I would not have named an 11 without without him. You asked me about Shimron Hetmeyer earlier on. I had penciled in Shimron Hetmeyer. I think everyone who watches the zone knows that I'm a, a, a Hetmeyer fan. But then when I penciled the team, I realized I didn't have Faf the place in the team. Mm. And I wanted Faf the place to be my captain. So when I presented Faf the Plessy, I said, well, who am I going to take out? And I ended up, take, take, ended up taking out uh, Hetmeyer. And as I said, Hetmeyer and Hope had very, very strong claims to being in a tournament 11. And I wouldn't argue with anyone if they had them in. But I had penciled Hetmeyer in before. But then Faf the Plessy, I wanted to be my captain based on how mm. efficiently he led his team and how successfully he led his team. I thought St. Lucia Kings from day one were consistently the best team in the tournament over the, the body of, 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 of the tournament. And I just wanted the place to be my captain. And of course, his batting stats um, supported him being there as well. Um, if, um, ahead of Hetmeyer, if you looked at the, mm. of, at the stats. So uh, that's how I ended up squeezing Hetmeyer out. Yeah, I have um, an idea that we all might agree on this. Our coach is Darren Sammy. Yeah, he is my coach. <laughs> I think Nikhil is not doing that. Nikhil? No, it's okay. I'll, I'll go with Darren Sammy. He won, so naturally he should be the coach. Wait, you sound as if you, you want to say something else, though, I Nikhil. I think so. No, no, no. I, I, I mean, I just laugh because I never really thought of who would be the coach. But yeah, I think, again, we, we said on the yesterday's show, the culture that Darren Sammy created in this team and has done for the past five seasons, the law averages suggest there would come a time where it had to go their way. And it was this time. And listen, he, doesn't, he hasn't gotten much credit for this. But I'm sure there would have been a few other coaches when Aaron Jones was 10 off 19 and the game was slipping away. There would have been a few other coaches that would have said, come in, that's it. We have David Visa, go back. But for the fact that he backed his, his, well, first of all, backed him to play him in the 11 after not playing the last game. But then even after that slow and struggling start to keep him out there, I think that in itself, just that moment speaks volumes of Sami's leadership qualities and also his belief in his players. Yeah, so, so important. Now, Nikhil, um, we would have... You know, this discussion would be incomplete if we didn't hear which of the players really disappointed you this season. Wow, uh, which players disappointed me? Like, you know, you were so um, excited, you thought they would have done really well, and then they didn't. Yeah, fair enough. I think you put me on the spot there. Um, I, I don't want to say, you know, single out any players. I think there are probably a few that have underperformed given the environment that they're in. Um, and also probably the way that they were used. And a lot of them, I thought, came off of injuries. I'm thinking about guys like Dominic Drakes, for example, who has had surgery at the beginning of this year and someone who I think has a lot of promise um, into West Indies cricket and is not finished. I think his left arm ability and his all-round ability, there's a huge ceiling for him. But it was tough to see him be thrown back into the deep end given the recovery off the injury and also a team that wasn't winning. I think that also makes it a problem. And it was amazing to see the domino effect it had on the Patriots. So he's one I would say I had high hopes for. I still really do have high hopes for that I think is going to have a huge comeback, whether it's next season, whether it's at the Super 50, which he'll hope to play for Barbados. But again, I don't want to single out anyone because I think there are different situations and circumstances in which each player have to start to be in. But yeah, I, 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 even someone like Obed McCoy, I was really happy to see him after a quiet season last year be able to rebound. Um, I would have loved to see him probably be a bit more consistent at uh, a back end, which I know he's working hard towards. He's developing those other store balls. And yeah, good to see guys are marking themselves hard. And it's good to see that we're having these discussions as well, because I think it speaks to how highly we rate guys like that. And I, I think there's a huge place in the Western East side for both of them. Yeah, I can't believe the CPL is over and we have a winner already. Well, this has been fun all tournament and we get to do it one last time. Can the producers end with a bang? Time for our Angostura play of the tournament. Tugs it. Oh, David Visa. Oh. That is unbelievable. He takes the catch. Then has enough power to throw it to carry Bear. And was ably assisted by his colleague. And keep up all was continue. I think he would obviously feel hard done. You will have confirmation that is brilliant. They'll check the front foot first of all, but the awareness from David Visa there, even if this is six, he completes the catch. 
with that swirling wind from the east lands with that left foot and then as he realizes he's going over the ropes not only does he throw it to his teammate but carry pair is meters away from him look at him left of screen there he's far away so he's got to put some level of power on the ball to get it to pair and he does that and pair runs in and takes the catch wow so i think they got it right what do you say I don't have a difficulty with it as well. And Nikhil Uttam Chandani was on commentary, so that adds to it for sure. No, Nikhil doesn't get points for the catch. Nikhil, what say you? Um, I think that would be second for me. First would be the catch that Robman Powell took with Jason Holder to dismiss Puran because of the importance of Puran's wicket and also the way it was similar sort of throw. But the distance that David Wiesner threw that ball, I've never seen anything like that in cricket. So I think that is equally as remarkable. Were you on commentary for that one? Yeah, but that's irrelevant. I, I just thought. Well, for Lance, it is relevant. <laughs> for Lance, yeah, I was I was fortunate to be on for some special moments this year. So yeah. All right. Well, it has been a fun CPL, Nikhil. It's one of my favorite competitions. Like I live for the CPL. Uh, too bad it's over. We want to thank you again, and we'll keep chatting because you know a lot of cricket as the year goes on. Thank you so much, Nikhil. Thank you, Maria, and I hope our West Indian talent can build on what was such a promising tournament. So much competitiveness and, you know, on to 2025 and hoping for big things from West Indies' perspective. Yeah, all the best, Nikhil. Chat again really soon. Cheers. Nikhil Utam Chandani, he was on commentary during the CPL and, of course, one of our very own Sportsmax analysts. It's break time.